Good evening, sir. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Thank you. Okay. So, first of all, introduce yourself, excluding your name. Uh, okay, sir. Uh, I'm a graduate in Ayurvedic medicine. Uh, I was born and brought up in Alappi, in Kerala. Uh, I have a sibling and my parents. I live with my parents. And right now, I'm not practicing as a doctor, but I'm preparing for public examination. I passed out in 2016. Okay. So, why you want to join IB? Why didn't you go for any medical? So uh, basically, uh, intelligence bureau is a, a long-standing dream for me. I was always fascinated about uh, stories, investigations, and all. And I think uh, in healthcare and IB, both are doing uh, a similar kind of uh, job profile. Um, I think uh, what an IB officer is doing, like collection of intelligence or information and provides to the security of the region and a healthcare professional. Uh, we also we are uh, investigating the disease which is hidden in a patient's body and sometimes the symptoms are visible so we can assess it easily and other times we have to take it out of the patient's body by interrogating, by inspecting and through various other tools. So uh, both the job profiles are somewhat similar and I think uh, the, the goal is also similar. IB is there to protect the nation and healthcare also wants to protect the people, protect the uh, society. And um, moreover, IB focuses on the prevention side and healthcare focuses on the cure side. Both are equally important and at times prevention is better than cure IB. Okay, that's good. Uh, do you know how IB is different from other security related agencies? How you can differentiate between yeah. other agencies which are working in India as uh, for the security context? Yes, sir. IB is primarily the domestic intelligence collection agency of India. And uh, while checking the history, I understand that until 1968, IB was responsible for both domestic and external intelligence collection. And following the 1962 Indo Chinese War, the uh, need for an external intelligence collection agency aroused. Uh, and Thus, raw the uh, research and analysis wing was formulated, and the external uh, intelligence collection was separated from the uh, duties of IB. Um, okay. IB is also responsible for the security uh, clearance of uh, diplomats and uh, judges before they take court as in their office. Okay, that's good. इसके साथ ही साथ फ्रेंड्स आप इस बुक को ले सकते हो जो आप सभी के लिए काफी ज्यादा हेल्पफुल होगी स्पेशली इंटरव्यू के लिए आपके इसमें आपको 100 प्लस इंटरव्यू से रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन आंसर मिल जाएंगे जिनको आप प्रैक्टिस कर सकते हो जो कि आपके एग्जाम में ज्यादा से ज्यादा पूछे जाने के चांसेस है आपके इंटरव्यू में मोस्ट प्रोबेबली ये क्वेश्चन पूछे जा सकते हैं ऐसे सारे क्वेश्चन यहाँ पे आपको एक सीरीज मिल जाएगी क्वेश्चन की साथ ही साथ यहाँ पे आपको करेंट और सिक्योरिटी रिलेटेड टॉपिक्स भी मिलेंगे इसी बुक में आपको अलग से कुछ प्रिपेयर करने की जरूरत नहीं है सारे जितने भी रिसेंट करेंट एंड सिक्योरिटी रिलेटेड इश्यूज है वो सारे के सारे इस बुक में कवर किए गए हैं साथ ही साथ जो है आपको ये लोएस्ट कॉस्ट में आपको ये बुक मिल जाएगी एडिशनल आपको 30 परसेंट डिस्काउंट भी मिल जाएगा तो डिस्क्रिप्शन में दोस्तों लिंक दिया गया है वहां से जाके आप इस बुक को ले सकते हो और अपनी प्रिपरेशन को और बेहतर तरीके से कर सकते हो राइट फ्रेंड्स आर यू अवेयर ऑफ व्हाट इज द मिशन अंदर इंद्रधनुष मिशन इंद्रधनुष इज कैंपेन टू वैक्सीनेट एंड इम्यूनाइज चिल्ड्रन इन द इम्यूनाइजिंग एज अकॉर्डिंग टू यूनिवर्सल वैक्सीनेशन स्कीम ओके so it is now updated upgraded version of it it is 3.0 right so why it was not yes, or, or why it is yes. initiated so because uh, even uh, in the latest um, family health survey we we, uh, we come to know that even we are very much advanced in healthcare facilities that we say but there are still areas in rural india where uh, our healthcare facilities did not reach to the mark so the uh, government is taking such initiatives to promote health and uh, facilities even to the rural even to the poorest rural uh, livelihoods and to promote uh, children and um, um, what lactating mothers pregnant women and all and um, immunizing is an efficient way to promote the health of the future generation so government is taking okay. at most care to provide healthcare facilities and immunization to the growing generation Okay, that's good. 
Now, can you elaborate uh, what are the impacts of COVID-19 have on our economy in terms of positive and negative? Okay, sir. Uh, when talking about the positive impact of COVID-19, first thing that comes to our mind is generally or obviously about the environmental impact because uh, it was the time during lockdown that we realized how much degraded our environment was and how it could be revived if given a chance to revive. When lockdown was imposed, our air pollution rate and water pollution rate, everything has come down and just showed us how we can improve, how the potential we have to improve the environment. So that was the best positive thing or uh, perhaps uh, the single most positive thing uh, that COVID-19 has impacted. And while coming to the negative impacts, obviously the economy worldwide has been on a destructive phase. And also in India, uh, only multi-millionaires or uh, some people like uh, so were uh, having a steady growth during the COVID-19 phase. All others including uh, workers which constitute a very huge population in India were on the decline side of the economy and now our uh, country is on the path back to it's reviving our economy is getting revived now okay so and also you... it showed us hmm. how where stands our healthcare team what are the what are the positives and negatives we are having in our healthcare team it clearly showed us what we have and what we should do. Okay. Uh, what others uh, about the positive, in, if you talk about in terms of positive impact, uh, apart from uh, environment, what are the positive effects? Uh, I think the um, work from home concept, which was uh, most widely utilized during the lockdown period, uh, okay. has provided some uh, comfort to the uh, working class in India. Uh, in particularly in terms of familial relationships. So people were very busy in their works, having no time to spend with their family, but the scenario has changed and people seem to get to know uh, more each other. They got more time to spend with each other. That I see is a positive um, okay. part of COVID-19. You can also and talk also, about uh, you can also talk about uh, make in India concept. We are now self-reliable on yes, various we are self-reliable uh, Yes, we are self-reliable in terms of COVID vaccination, COVID medicines. We are helping uh, deserving countries in supplying the amenities, the required amenities. Yes, we are leading, yes, taking the leading role in that. Okay, that's good. Now, in terms of, uh, if we talk about security of our country, uh, what do you consider, what are the major impact of cyber warfare? What, what will be the impact of cyber warfare? if uh, the issues as per arising in our country? Yes, sir. cyber warfare is uh, potentially a very big threat which can happen anytime to any country in the world right now. Apart from the uh, land terrors, uh, the con uh, conventional war methods, cyber terrorism and cyber warfare is uh, going to be a potential threat to any country and um, a robust system or robust network of cyber security will only um, be able to check at least uh, the incidence of uh, such a threat. Okay, so what needs to be done to strengthen our security with respect to cyber crime? Sir, our Ministry of Home Affairs is already having a cyber security wing, administrative cyber security wing, and it needs to be enhanced. The, uh, the, uh, potential of artificial intelligence, machine learning, and more informed workforce, more uh, youth, and more people who are very competent in handling these cases must be recruited. And uh, uh, from the basic level, it must be restructured and strengthened in order to avoid such possible threats. Okay, that's good. Uh, 